Hi, thank you for watching. Today we're going to show you how to create a basic query and start query for Excel, create a constraint to limit its results, and also include a button towards the end that allows you to recycle the report using an Excel template. For starters, we need something called a map file. This map file is actually created by your IT department or at least someone who has knowledge of your database, how to connect to it, its parameters, and uh, the sort. In this case, we actually have our data source today. And our data source today is actually an iSeries. The provider is the Centrex iSeries provider, a driver specifically created for Starkly for Excel. Uh, IP address entered here, username and password of the iSeries. You can test your connection. There you see it, successful. Click OK, click OK here. We are live, so we might experience a few hiccups here and there, so just bear with us here. I'm not going to go through the entire process of creating these SQM files. You can see I already have some tables here. I've actually already created these joins. These joins were actually automatically set based on the descriptions of this database that I'm working on, and I can just simply do that by clicking on this automatic join. So here we go. These are the tables that I selected. From here, I'm going to go to step two. In step two, I have something called dimensions. And all dimension really is, is just a view organized in a fashion that makes sense to your end users. Here I actually have a dimension called all fields, and basically what this is, it's just all the fields and all these tables that I have here on the left side, the ones that I joined earlier, put together in one uh, view. And this view is actually shown to your end users, and this is what they'll use to create the report. On the right side I have a measure, and all really a measure is just a summary function, in this case I have a total, and that particular total is actually my unit price of my books times the quantity of any specific order. Okay, and that's actually all I'm going to show you here for the bookstore. Close it out. It won't save my changes. And this is a folder of the environment that I'll be working out of today. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open Excel. Start Query is actually fully integrated into Excel. Click on my Syntrax ribbon. Click on Start Query for Excel. Click on the new button, and from this new button I actually have two options, create data extraction or data analysis. Today we're just going to focus on something really basic, so we'll say data extraction. Um, in order to create a query, I need access to a map file, and that map file is that file that I was just showing you with the connections and all the fields and uh, dimensions that I mentioned earlier too. So I'll just browse over. All right. Again, this is my work, workplace here. Click on bookstore.sqm. All right, and I'm going to start building my query. My first field is actually first name, simply double click, last name, double click. Next info is my state and the total unit price, which you saw earlier was a combination of books ordered times the price of set books. From here, I'm actually going to format my data just a bit. Click on Automatic Format, select Class 2. And I'll also come back over here, sort by state, ascending. And I can just go back to Start Query for Excel here. Click on the Execute button. Going over to Excel. So depending on your internet connection or network connection, um, you'll, you'll get some results depending obviously on how fast your connection is to your network and things of that nature. So here's our data. So as you can see, we're actually sorted by states. We have the first name for a customer, last name, the state they belong to, and the total for all the rules they've created. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to start for Excel. And I'm going to create a constraint so that I only get information for customers in California. What I'll do is I'll go over to my constraints box here. I'll grab the state, click and drag it over to my constraints box. All right. I'll give this constraint a name, and I'll just say limit state. And this is just a title. This is not going to affect the query just yet. The comparison operator I like to use is the contains. As you can see, there's other options there. Contains. And here under constant, I'll just go ahead and take a look at what my database actually has as states. And I'll just select California, click OK. 
Okay, click OK here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Execute. This comes back, and I get only the state of California. So orders for state of California are mentioned here. So the next thing I'm going to do is rather than hard coding the state SCA, I'm going to create a little mini form here in Excel. And um, whatever information I indicate here in this cell F2, that's what I want Start Query to go back and uh, filter my information by. So just simple Excel manipulation. I'll just enter a little enter state here. Okay, expand that. And under here, I'll indicate instead of California, I'll indicate Texas TX. More formatting here. Center. Make that yellow, maybe bold. So from here, what I'll do is go back to my Centrax ribbon, start query, come back into my constraint. I can double click that, and I can say instead of creating a constant as my constraint, I'll indicate an Excel reference. Click on that Excel button, click on the little eyedropper, select F2, F2 is here, click OK, click OK here. I'm now going to execute this again. All right, 13 records, and uh, the state here. If I wanted to, I can change this over to FL as Florida. Go back to, just click on Run here. Okay, and I actually only have one record for Florida. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to save my query. I'm going to go back to Start Query for Excel. Okay, file, do Save As. I'll save it inside my same folder. And I'll call this store query. Click on save. My query is saved. Okay, so let's say I want to just recycle this particular query and run this report every week or every day or every time somebody uh, asks for it. What I'll do is I can actually create an update button here. And I'll call this run bookstore query, and I can link this button to that query that I just created, which is my bookstore query. Click OK. And now, if I'd like, I can actually save this Excel file. So save as, save it in the same folder, and I'll call this star query bookstore. It's pretty much fine. And I'll save it as an XLM XLSM document, click on save. Alright, what I can do now is I can close this Excel file. And again, as I mentioned, I can recycle this document, click on start pre store.xlsm. Right, I'm going to enable these macros. And if I want now, I can change this state here from FL to CA. Run bookstore query. And maybe you see some results there. TX again. And here's another instance of this report for Texas. And this is how you would recycle your documents, create an Excel file, and ultimately just have your end users that possess a license for Start Query run this Excel report and uh, oh, run it as frequently as possible. And once you have it in this document here, you can save it, print it, or even email it. Thank you for watching.